Gone are the days of hailing a traditional taxi. Rideshare apps like Lyft and Uber and even car share apps like Maven are the new norm. Matt Labasa here for foxbusiness.com. Uh, and we are sitting with Brent Taylor, Maven General Manager for New York. Um, we're going to be talking car share, ride share, what it means for the economy, lots of good stuff. So as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to write them in. I am watching and we'll be monitoring as we go. So Brent, first off, take it away. What is Maven? So first off, Matt, thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, Maven is GM's uh, on-demand mobility platform. Uh, we seamlessly connect uh, people with uh, mobility solutions um, on demand, all via mobile applications. So we have uh, multiple facets of Maven. We have our Maven City program, which is a traditional car sharing station-based model where you need a car, say, for an hour, a day, a week. You reserve the car via phone and uh, you show up to a garage in the city. Uh, they bring up your car and you go do your thing. While you're in that ride, the gas, insurance, and mileage is all on Maven. So you return the car, you walk away, you don't have to deal with uh, trying to park on the street or anything like that. It's all housed in private garages. Uh, one of our other options or platforms on Maven is our Maven Home Experience. Mm -hmm. Now this is an exclusively curated experience for high-end luxury residential developers. Um, when people are laying down, especially as you know it, in New York City, these premium dollars to live in these nice buildings, uh, they want a little something extra. So we're able to work with the property developers to uh, find a fleet mix curated to them for the exclusive use of those residents and those residents only which are located in the building. So as a New Yorker, that's a cr pretty cool thing mm -hmm. to have. And then we have our Maven Gig program, which is putting rideshare drivers into GM automobiles uh, so that um, they can move rideshare customers around. So really, uh, Maven is taking a it's lot the of... the mobility of everything. It is the mobility of everything. It's, uh, it's super cool because our parent company, GM, is understanding that the landscape of mobility is changing, and uh, they are adapting with it instead of sticking with the traditional people just graduate college and buy a car and park right. it in the garage, which is not always the case. Just to go back even further for our audience, what's the difference between a car share and a ride share? Because I hear of Lyft and Uber, but I may not necessarily have heard of Maven. What's the difference between the two? So car share is you will be um, basically using a car on demand. Uh, you can book within 30 minutes and have a vehicle available to you for either an hour or a day or a week or so. And then somebody can come right behind you, book that same vehicle, and hit the road where the car is mm -hmm. in constant use. So you don't have this traditional uh, stagnation of a car that goes from work to home, work to home, and 95% of the day it's turned off. This car is in motion. Now, rideshare would be similar to the, uh, the Uber and Lyft models where... Uh, individuals are e-hailing and getting a, an individual to drive them around and not being part of the mm -hmm. drive experience. So um, just multiple ways that uh, mobility is headed. So if I needed a car for that hour to go move or pick up something or do my big Costco run and I don't have my own car, I can go through Maven, find it, go and use it for that. Absolutely. That time. So anybody who, uh, so a perfect example. So you're going to, uh, you're going to Ikea, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can take the Wall Street Ferry and all the time you're a New Yorker, so you're sizing it up. Like, how much can I carry out of there? How much can I put on my back? How much can I get onto it's the train? <laughs> uh, so yeah, when you get there, right, you've got your, your, your flirm rug and whatever, your, your, your thing, and you're putting it over your back. And then um, you're, you're try you can't get the pillows because you just you can't carry them. So uh, the whole thing is, you know, no, pull out your Maven app. You go to the, the Icon Garage in the Google building, and uh, you get a Chevy Equinox. You lay down the back cool. seat, and 15 bucks an hour, it's, you don't can't, even have to think about it. Yeah, you it. can't beat that. So you guys are, you are part of GM, or GM, right? Maven is part of GM. Correct. So uh, how long has it been around, and, and um, what does that mean? Is that, is that the fleet of cars? What do I get by having GM in my corner? Sure. Well, um, GM in your corner, uh, it's quite a few things. So Maven's been around for about a year and a half now, and um, in that year and a half, we've had just exponential growth. Um, you're talking about we've launched 17 markets. Uh, we've got 65,000 completed reservations, 61,000 uh, members signed up, and 165 million miles booked on GM vehicles. 
Um, now having GM as, you know, we're Maven's a scrappy little startup inside the 100-year-old mm -hmm. company, um, but uh, having GM as your big sister is a really cool thing. Um, GM controls the fleet mix for Maven, so one of the differentiators from Maven in the car sharing space is that um, we don't shame you for getting the least expensive option on the roster. Uh, whether you book in New York City a Chevrolet Cruze or a Cadillac Escalade, you're still getting the premium features of those vehicles. So your Chevy Cruze is going to have leather seats, mm. it's going to have 4G Wi-Fi, it's going to have Bluetooth, it's going to have Nothing OnStar, but the best. XM satellite radio, you know, every once in a while you might even get a sunroof. So, uh, <laughs> and that's all the way from the bottom to the top. So you don't have to sacrifice the premium dollars to get a higher end product, which in the space is not the norm. You know, it's always kind of a, a gamble as to will it have cloth interior, right. it's going to smell funky. Right. That's, uh, that's well, not Well, that's the concern, the right? When you're, you know, the traditional rent-a-car is it smells like someone smoked in it and there's <laughs> dog hair everywhere in it. You know, how does Maven make sure that doesn't happen? Uh, we, have, uh, we have a fantastic, uh, very agile cleaning service. They work overnight basically retouching every uh, Maven vehicle. And Maven is also, uh, you know, it's 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 peer based to a fact or to a point where we rely on our customers to help us out. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, this car is trash. What are you guys going to do about it? You know, we always work to make that right with the customer, but we address those those situations immediately, and we have fairly robust rotations on getting that stuff churned in and out of the uh, the cleaning factory. Very cool. If you're just joining us, we're with Brent Taylor, uh, Maven General Manager for New York, uh, talking ride sharing and car sharing. Um, we just had a question here. Um, what about the safety? You know, you got drivers who could be, you know, fresh out of school, just got their license. Are they driving Maven? What's the concern with you guys? Yeah, uh, everybody, um, anybody 18 or older with a valid driver's license and credit card is, can be a Maven member. And uh, so, we, you know, Maven works... Uh, New York City, I would say, as a, uh, as a test case, uh, Maven applies to college students, mm -hmm. grad students, uh, you know, all the way up to the stroller set. It's prohibitively expensive to own a vehicle here, as any New Yorker knows. And, um, you know, fuel insurance costs parking, which is the big thing. If you put your car on the street in New York, it's going to be a battle tank in two weeks. So, <laughs> uh, so really um, taking that out of the... Uh, those responsibilities out of the hand of the consumer and us shouldering that and the customers are able to experience this premium GM experience. Uh, and I know you mentioned a little bit. So where are you? Because, you know, we're chatting New York and you're the New York guy, but where else are you around the country? And sure. Um, 17 markets across the New York, uh, or, sorry, across the, uh, the United States. We're, uh, can't, New Yorkers can't stop talking about New York. I know. Right? Uh, the, uh, there's nothing west of the Hudson. No, we are um, in Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, Atlanta, Denver, um, and uh, I think I, okay. I get bonus points, I think, if you, I mentioned any more. Uh, okay, cool. Who's using it? You know, is this a young person's game? Is this a millennial's game because it's on the phone, the smartphone? Or who do you see kind of really taking advantage of Maven? Uh, you know, it's, uh, the, the use case is mixed. We have... Um, we have Basically, college students using uh, Maven. We have a big program in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where uh, students use Maven vehicles quite a bit. Um, we have, you know, everybody's favorite M word is using the millennials. Mm -hmm. The uh, the millennials are using Maven, uh, but in New York City, everybody uses Maven. Our uh, our customer base is, you know, everything from the student to, you know. Grown-ups, uh, just because of the logistical problems that are entailed with vehicle ownership. So, you know, and you think about those scenario-based things, um, you know, if you want to go see your folks in Ramsey, New Jersey, uh, you're going to take a Maven to do it because right. a, a New Jersey transit, well, everybody knows how that's going to turn yeah. out. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the same thing, think about your, your mom's flying into LaGuardia Airport. Um, so are you going to make mom navigate the taxi stand outside right. the cattle call that that is or the black car drivers that are trying to hustle them into the ride? Uh, literally, you could go get a Malibu from 57th Street, you could be over there to pick up your mom, and uh, it's 30 bucks for two right. hours. You know, it's a no-brainer. So those are the use cases that we're seeing currently with Maven. Uh, what's the cost to me? 
Does it cost to sign up or cost to use? How does it work? So that's the beauty of it. Maven, as a differentiator in the space, uh, is financially free of obligation to sign up as a member. So we encourage everybody to go to the App Store, download the app, Maven Car Sharing, and uh, have it as a mobility tool on your phone. Whether you need it or not, you don't have to do the ROI uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, experiment on, well, if I use it twice, but it's 70 bucks to join, is this really worth my while? Maven doesn't throw any of those nuisance fees at you that are profit centers. So uh, sign up, download it onto your phone, and you have it available for you. It's pay for play, so at 12 bucks an hour, you can get on the road in a Maven car. Uh, let's talk business a little bit. So. Um, what's interesting is people don't realize, yes, this is great for the consumer and picking up mom at the airport, but there's the whole impact on the gig economy, right? So explain to me for everyone, too, what is considered a gig economy? So the gig economy are, you know, individuals who are not doing the traditional nine to five, who are kind of doing their own thing, being their own boss. Obviously, we've seen with the, uh, the rise of Lyft and Uber, uh, this is a exponential growth in this space where people just want to be their own boss. They want to decide when they Or work. side hustle, right? To kind of do it on the side. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, how do you supplement income? It's hard to, you know, it's hard to... To have nice things if you're not constantly working. And uh, so really with our Maven gig and express drive programs where we're offering vehicles to uh, Uber and Lyft drivers, we're allowing them to kind of dip their toes into that space and say, hey, is this for me? Before they go out and make this massive capital investment on I'm going to buy my car and I'm going to do all the licensing. And especially in New York, you know, that's a bit of a, a hornet's nest of how to, to navigate those waters. Maven's doing really all of that for you. And then you can try it out and say, I love this. This is what I want to do. Or, you know what, it's not for me. I'm, not, yeah. I'm on to the next thing. And, and that's really what, what gig is all about. So that one of the stats that we, we came about was uh, in one year, 63% of the gig ride economy as the driver increased. Like, that's huge. Like, it's not going away. Lyft last year brought in $70 million in revenue as a whole. So is that kind of see who's kind of biting into this? Is those kind of drivers who are dipping their toes in? Is that kind of see a lot of the users? Absolutely. Our uh, Lyft and gig, uh, or our express drive and gig programs, mm -hmm. which uh, cater to those drivers, uh, have got, grown amazingly. Um, in Los Angeles and San Francisco, they're now doing full plug-in electric Chevrolet Bolts for Uber and Lyft drivers, which is also a, an extremely cool thing. And, you know, really understanding the stat that you just threw out, I think, speaks volumes where uh, the landscape is changing, you know, and GM understands that completely. GM invests in Lyft. Uh, they understand that the landscape has moved and has changed quite a bit. And GM, uh, really cool to see this older company understand, like, we're not going to be a Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. We are going to embrace this thing and figure out what the new direction is and be the solution for it. There's been some, you know, negative press with Uber surrounding its CEO resigned, president stepped down. Is that is that hurting you guys? I know you do work with them, but is that hurting? Are people hesitant about even kind of using the, these kind of car sharing? We haven't really noticed any no. sort of uh, uh, glitch in 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 vehicle usage. Uh, the need is still out there, right. so people are using the app. Are you, is this going to be the death of traditional car rentals? Uh, you know what, who knows what that looks like in the next 10 years. I mean, if you think back even five years ago, what did mobility look like? Um, I don't think anybody has a, the silver bullet on saying it. I, I can definitely say it's probably not going to be what it looked like, you know, a, a year or two ago. But in the next two, uh, 10 years or so, I think uh, transportation and mobility are just going to kind of be upside down to what it is today and really we want to be on the forefront of that good yeah and just to kind of wrap up yeah where do you kind of see it? where do you hope to be where do you kind of hope to take see maven go in the sure near years? what we'd like to do now is just grow the operations out so we've launched in these markets and uh the uh the user adoption has been huge for us um, with new york city we uh, launched on may 15th not very long ago we rang the opening bell at the stock exchange and um, that morning we had 600 members signed up as a pilot program that had gone on for a few months prior um, today we have over 7500 members in new york city wow. so and that's all based organically we haven't really advertised a whole bunch so um, we see the people understanding this possibly deciding hey is vehicle ownership right for me if I have a maven in my building and uh, and then really just growing out this operation very cool Brent thank you so much